Hello, my beautiful friends and subscribers out there in the YouTube land. This is your girl, Destiny. Y'all, just get my hair. Oh, I need a good hair fix. <laughs> Hi, people. I'm going to be talking today about paying attention. See, right now I'm paying attention to this hair right here of mine. I'm outside on my balcony as well. You can probably hear the air conditioning units out there just. But I'm going to try to talk loud enough for you people to hear me. This is a very good, interesting video. And I just want to come out here and share this information with you guys. Oh my goodness, I see the squirrels in the tree. I'm paying attention. That's what we have to get to that place where we got to start paying close attention to the surroundings that we're in. And I'm out here, I'm, I'm looking because this squirrel is just entertaining me right now. And like I said, I'm paying attention because I hear the air conditioner units. And I'm sure you guys can share the background. Oh, look at my eyes getting better today. Look, 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 look. It's getting better. Just a little mishap. But other than that, I'm totally, absolutely yeah. healthy, well, wholesome, and happy and complete. So guess what the video is going to be about? Just I'm out here rambling around, talking about my hair, talking about the squirrels, talking about the air conditioner units. <laughs> Guys, I'm talking about paying attention. And uh, welcome everyone. Hi to everyone out there. And I see again in the house some new people. Hey, Kai, come up here close to me. My name is Destiny. And my YouTube channel is Destiny Forever Walks. And this is um, going to be exciting for you guys. So I'm glad you're here. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. I am here to inspire, to motivate, to encourage, and to empower you to become your higher and greater self and to become the best version of whom the creator of the universe has created for you to be. With my videos and messages that I use, that I uh, speak on, on this platform of Destiny Forever is to empower your life. It's to help you to grow to your true authentic self, to know your destiny, your purpose, and to learn about a wholesome, healthy lifestyle. So there's so many things on this channel that I think it will be very helpful if you just come in and sit down with me. Today, we are talking about start paying attention to your surroundings for miracles and lessons and they are about to happen right before your eyes. You better receive that. You better receive that. The next message, I tell you, the universe he kicked that inside of my heart and immediately I was like, whoop. I wrote it down the title and I said, I gotta get this to my people. That's a message. He is sending you a message letting you know you gotta start paying attention. You gotta start preparing yourself to start looking more around because he got some lessons, some miracles that is about to happen before your eyes. So, I'm going Today I got notes, so, because I had to write this down real fast. <laughs> So here we go, let's jump into this message. The title again is Start Paying Attention to Your Surroundings for Miracles and Blessings are About to Happen Before Your Very Eyes. And you know, when he dropped that into my spirits not long ago, immediately I was like, whoa. I, I stopped everything that I was doing, I said, oh, that's a message that I know that I have to get out to the audience. And because the scripture hit me so hard, and I was like, whoa, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has entered the heart of man the things that the creator of God has prepared for you. And I was like, wow, he got something for those who are out there seeking and looking and paying attention because they're in the expectation mode that they are about to receive. You better get that. You better get it. Let's get into this mess. I'm going to read today. I think I'll read today. Mostly I'm going to read. So I'll be looking down. So don't let that distract you, okay? Because all you got to do is open your ears and you got to hear the words that I'm speaking for. 
so it can get into your spirit, your soul, okay? Now listen, my people. I'm out here looking at the squirrels again. Most people walk around today as to be enclosed in a bubble. I mean, this great big huge bubble. Only they are inside of that bubble. But the damn craziest thing about it, the bubble seems to be tinted. They can't see inside if they were out and they can't see from the inside to the outside and nobody can see them but they're walking around in this bubble that's what most people seem to be doing today is walking around in that little bubble in their own little world only thing they're paying attention to is the four walls that they're all enclosed around cool when he told me that i was like okay you got my attention creator let me take the simplest acts are often missed because we are simply too busy to pay attention to anything going on around us. Especially if it seems like it doesn't directly impact us. <laughs> People, you need to be paying attention because it possibly could be something that will impact and change your entire life. It could be that blessing. It could be that miracle that you've been praying about, that you've been asking for, that you've been seeking, that you've been crying over day and night. It could possibly be that blessing or that miracle. You may not think it directly come to you, but it could come through means and ways of other people. The Creator has His way of doing things. Now guys, the sun is so brilliantly bright out here, so I hope you guys can still see the video. So many things are happening. Miracles are happening right now as I'm speaking to you because I'm paying attention to my surroundings that I'm in. And all of a sudden this bright, amazing, blazing sun, it just came up. So I see him right now. He's sending signs and messages to me, letting me know. Because said you're on the right path. You're doing what you need to be doing. And you are paying attention to your surroundings. So keep moving, Destiny. So my people, the simplest acts are often missed because we are simply too busy to pay attention to anything going around us, especially if we seem like it doesn't directly impact us. So we still have to pay attention to things that you haven't seen before rather than allowing your eyes to focus on what you see all the time. Don't get stuck in that place of familiarity. Don't get stuck in that place that this is all that it is. It's more, a lot more beyond your eyes. Like you said, eyes have not seen. Ears has not heard. Neither has it entered your heart. The things that he has prepared, the blessings that he has prepared for you, the miracles that he has coming your way, but you won't miss it, but you won't get it if you're not looking, if you're not being the observer of your life. Wow, I don't know where all this is coming from, but I'm, I'm here, Creator, use me. <laughs> so my people, it starts with your ability to observe different things. Every time you're out, just look. Just constantly look. Intentively look. Look with intention that I know something is coming my way that is so greater than I can ever imagine. Wow. So, my people, pay attention to those things that you haven't seen before. Rather than allowing your eyes to focus on what you see all the time. And it starts with your ability to observe different things. And you see, since I've been sitting out here, the sun, oh my goodness, you see that bright sun just blazing from me a few minutes ago? It's it bypassed now. It's that squirrel been entertaining me forever, my people. It's just like all of a sudden, everything around me now, I'm seeing everything. I'm hearing that that air conditioning units down there is going from one place to the next and it's changing its tone. And now here comes the sun again. So I'm observing. I know he's doing some miraculous things right now. So I'm speaking to you, my people. So, what blessings have you missed out on? Or what miracles have you missed out on? Because you are not observing or paying attention to your surroundings. I guarantee you, if you're not paying attention, you're not giving your eyes a focus or your ear a turn into the, the creator, that you're missing a whole lot. That thing that you prayed about last night, 
you've been crying over for months. That loved one that you wanted to come back in your heart to make you, you make yourself feel like your whole wholesome self is that the right person? It's gonna bring it back to you. That money that you've been seeking that you don't have and you've been crying, I need this much money, I need this, I need this person, I need this car, I need that. I need good health, your health's been failing you. All those things you've been crying and crying over, are you looking around your surroundings? They are out there. You gotta trust and believe that he is able to do that. A seed in you, a seed in you, a seed in abundantly, a seed in my people, abundantly above all that you may ask or think by the power which is in you. My people, it's out there because Listen, what blessings have you missed out on? Or what miracles have you missed out? Because you are not observing and paying attention to your surroundings. And I'm going to say it again so you can get this. The Bible says, But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ye heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man, the things which the Creator of God had, Prepare for them that love him. If you don't think that is correct, check it out in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. That came out of your Bible. So let's keep going. Observing is a daily act, my people. Something that you got to constantly do all throughout your day, every single day of your life. Truly observing is a daily act. It only makes you, or it only makes sense that we become better observers so that we can leverage our growth, increase our blessings, increase the miracles, and expand our ability to become more self-aware. And the greatest level of awareness, my people, is self-awareness. And you'll get that tomorrow. Hopefully you get it now. <laughs> so my people, I got five tips and I'm gonna pass on to you to help you so, I'm going to help you so you can know how to become more of an observer. So, how do you become more of an observer? Listen to these five tips. Listen, grab onto it, hold it. Do whatever you can do to get these five tips within inside of you so you can start manifesting those miracles and those blessings. So, you can start accessing your surroundings any time of the day, wherever that you may be. These five tips are here to help you to become more of a servant to your surroundings. Number one, slow down. We live in this fast world, always racing, racing, racing. I'm gonna give you some examples. One of the main mistakes many people make in their lives is their constant need to accomplish the objective right now, right then at hand. Rather than to live for the action of completing the objective, you jump over this and you jump over that and jump into something else, constantly multi multitasking. Multitasking. <laughs> but that's a big mistake. Slow down, take it one day at a time, one step at a time, one task at a time. So that's what mistake that we make. I'm gonna give you an example. If you have to buy milk, you go to the supermarket and you hope there are no long checkout lines or that parking is a breeze. All of that is so that you can be home faster to do nothing more than what you were doing before you left your house. Instead, my people think about rushing and rushing and running into the store and grabbing something and running back out to get back to the home and people just slow down. And slow down and try to make the experience of buying milk as much of a learning as you can. Learn what is in this milk, what kind of ingredients, how was it manufactured, where did it come from, was it made on a farm, where does it come from cows, does it come from plants, does it come from seeds. Just pay attention, spend time studying and learning as much as you can. Slow down and pay attention to who else is in the store at the same time that you are. Then what types of cars are out in the parking lot? Pay attention to those surroundings. And also take a moment and interact with all aspects of your environment. Speak to people. Compliment people. 
motivate people, inspire people, check out, see what people may look a little bit odd or strange or what may be doing something that may be a little frightening to you. Pay attention to your environment. Use your eyes to pay attention. A miracle could be standing there also looking at you. Number two, look around before you act. So while slowing down is essential, the next step is your ability to leverage your eyes during the time between the observation and the action. Assume now you're at the gas station, okay? And you're pumping gas and cars apart. And there's people all around you while you're pumping this gas. So guess what? You're pumping this gas. Just simply stop people and look around at other people at the gas station. Look at the cars that's parked around you and anything else that is around you before you actually do the pumping itself. Check out your environment first. This may seem useless, but once again, your observation will be recorded in your head and patterns will be created. Just look around. There could be a blessing trying to get your attention. Number three, look, don't listen. So here's some more examples I'm give you. Look, don't listen. You have always been told to shut up and listen. Shut up and just listen. You, we've been told that many, many times, but in this case, my people, listen. I'm telling you to look with your eyes and not with your ears. And I will give you a great example. So something that you can relate with, okay? Hey, there was a guy at the gas station cleaning his car 15 feet away from you with his music really loud and his music is blasting and it's just causing all kinds of tension and focus turned toward him or his car or her car. So all the eyes of this person, so all the eyes of everybody around is on this particular person. No matter what car you were in, you were simply drawn to the loudness of the distraction. So by looking with your ears, you simply are following the environment and what it wants you to see. Rather than everything else that may matter, and it's going on simultaneously. And you could be missing out the best things. That's a distraction. So listen, when those kind of situation things happen that comes to what will just, just, just distract you or just loud and boisterous, don't allow the loud distractions to stop you from keeping your eyes on your surroundings. Don't allow it to pull you away from the direction that you should be at and pull you into a direction that you need not to be in. Remember this, blessings come in disguises. And number four, look for the new, my people. Look for the new. Pay attention to things you haven't seen before rather than allowing your eyes to focus on the things that are familiar, on the familiarity that's within that surrounding. Pay attention to things that you have not seen before. Part of the reason many never reach their potential is that their constant focus in their life is centered around seeing and doing all the same things. So listen. It starts with your ability to observe. And you must observe different things, which is then followed by your ability to explore new grounds, new avenues, new perspectives. And then don't allow familiarity to keep you from looking at the unknown, the unknown scenes, the unknown places. Don't allow familiarity to pull you into just that box where you only can see just that one particular thing. Because miracles often happen in unknown areas. Miracles often happen in unknown places. Miracles only happens when you at the 
bottom of the barrel and you almost on your last leg and last limb and you're almost out. There comes the miracle. Number five, which is the last one, my people connect patterns. Part of the reason why observant people are more effective in their business as business as well as in their life is their ability to connect patterns. So many of today's best marketers understand how people make buying decisions in their industry and they tailor the message and positioning of their product in a way that it is too difficult for the, for the consumer <laughs> to pass up. See, I was, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm guessing, when I get excited like that, you know, I just get a little ahead of myself. So I guess y'all understood that, right? So slow down, people. Connect patterns. Connect patterns is a very important thing we need to do because it brings us all back into a place of wholeness. So connecting the dots usually happens based upon countless observations that are witnessed time and time again, allowing the brain to focus on why they are happening. See, the brain has to, you know, absorb all this. So the brain can like pull all this into one place and put it all together so it can give you a pure picture of exactly what is happening. Forming those patterns, that's what is happening in the brain. So, my people, as I said, connected to dots do happen based upon countless observations that are witnessed time and time again, allowing the brain to focus on what is actually really happening, rather than notice the same things again and again and again. You out there looking for new things. Eyes have not seen, ear have not heard. You looking for things beyond what your eyes can see. So. Identifying patterns is very powerful, my people. Identifying, identifying patterns are very powerful, my people. And why is that? Because they buy in, because they allow you, and they will help you to connect and they make you make clear, clear choices. So again, I Identifying patterns is very powerful and it allows you to understand why people are predictable and why they buy into the same situations, the same fashions, the same desires, the same things over and over again. Pay attention to your surroundings. Start people paying attention. There are miracles out there. There are blessings out there. There are things out there that you have been asking for, seeking for, waiting for, for years and years you've been crying out. It has been there probably for many years, but you just keep running over it because you're not paying attention. That huge extra bonus you said you wanted, is there. That check that you've been saying, you know, I need this check for my retirement, it's there. You want a better car, a newer car, my people, it's been there. You want more love and more happiness and more peace in your life, my people, it's already been there. Just pay attention, you're gonna get more of it. The more that you continue to pay attention to your surroundings and turn your ear toward the creator, God of the universe. Because he said, eyes have not seen, ears has not heard. Neither has it entered the heart of man or woman, the things. He has things, my people. Not just a thing. He has things. So many more things. How many things have you been seeking for? How many things have you been asking for? For how long have you been waiting for? Are you doing your part? Have you been faithful? Have you been attentive? Have you been loving? Have you been caring? Have you been passionate? Have you been listening? Have you been obeying and respecting the divine order of the universe, the creator of God? Then your blessings, your miracles are out there. Stop jumping over them. Stop walking around like you don't even exist, but in a bubble, my people. Get out of the bubble. Pay attention to the surroundings you're in. You are following the divine creator's order. You are doing what he asked you to do, and you're trusting him with all your heart and not leaning to your own understanding. Your blessings are already there. 
And then if they ain't enough for you, you keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. Keep doing and respecting him and giving him reverence and respect and love to the creator of the universe. He will create even more of that for you. That you'll come running over. It will overflow my people. Overflow. I'm closing. Your observations are more powerful than you think. And all you have to do in order to grow and in order to receive those blessings and all those miracles is to pay your attention and to look around in your surroundings and you trust the God creator God himself and you know that he has your back and you got to keep being faithful and diligent and keep seeking him and trusting him. And you gotta keep speaking those things that he has placed within you. Stay in a positive frame of mind, knowing that he will never leave you nor will he forsake you. He never comes short or slack of any of his promises. You just do your part. You just do what he is calling you to do. No matter what other people are doing, you stay on the right path. But he has you. And I guarantee you, as you expand around where you are in your surroundings and begin to open up more and more, you're going to look and your best is going to be lying right at your feet. That's a word for you. That's a word for you. That's a prophetic word. I receive that. I receive it now. I'm still see you guys in the next video. Start paying attention to your surroundings for miracles and blessings are right there before your very eyes. Destiny's out of here. I'm going to see you guys at the next video. Okay. Like I said, if you're not doing what he asked you to do, you've been disobedient, you've been rebellious, you've been trying to run your own life and your own show and you're not having no respect, don't expect nothing from your creator. you got to humble yourselves under the mighty hand of and he would exalt you in due time. If you're not doing that and you're trying to run the show and you're out there doing whatever you want without asking and questioning him and asking for wisdom and asking and seeking for guidance and then believing and trusting him with all your heart and not leaning to your own blessed day, go and understand it, don't expect nothing. But you know you're being one of those faithful ones, those diligent seekers, the love, being the lover of, 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 his, of his life. And you are his lover. And you're doing what he asked you to do because you got blessings. They have been stored up right up for you. Receive what you want. That's up to you. It's out there. It's your part is to keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. Bye. i see you guys in the next video. That's my hair, guys. I'm praying. See you later. Bye-bye. Namaste.